Wow, $4.99 to fill, well, per gallon. So to fill the tank is gonna be over 80 bucks. Oh. I guess I could have saved a few pennies here and there driving to the point where it's self-defeating. I like giving my business to Wawa. Wawa has a special place in my heart. It was my convenience store growing up and they are fabulous. $89. and 46 cents. for just about 18 gallons, 17.8 gallons. Ugh. Ugh. And that is a result. What's in the news right now? It's, it's the Ukraine war still, right? It's Russia? Probably Russia. Nothing new that I didn't hear about. There's a little bit of a surge. I get my news from the gas prices. Also get my news from swiping left. Is it slight swiping left when you start from the left and your finger goes right? Apple news. Apple news, which now that they've gotten you addicted to it, they are all the news sources are trying to get you to subscribe. Maybe your first article free you get. So that's the way it is. To stay informed, quality journalism takes money. People need to eat and all that. Go figure. up doing some grocery shopping. You gotta eat. I'll be doing unpacking. Maybe I'll bring you in and show you a little bit of my unpacking and groceries. Really inviting you into my life, aren't I? Controversial? Why not? Life casting. People do the most ridiculous things inviting people in and you know, I would love to be purely whatever. I would love to be like super Mr. Polished. But would I be? Would I be? Would I be differentiated if I were just another YouTuber editing my video to look perfect? I don't think so. I think what is necessary is for people who can be genuine and who can be themselves. Are you being genuine in yourself if you're talking about it? Is that too meta? Too meta. Too meta. What's a metaphor? What's a metaphor.io? What a metaphor, what a meta is for, what's a metaphor is for IO. So I decided to experiment with the .io domain. It's part of my job. Do things other than .coms and .orgs position well in search. So you gotta have a little of this, a little of that. So I don't wanna break the bank with a .ai. They're like $80 a year renewal. So I have one .io in the mix, a couple other things here and there. Haven't done much with it yet, but I will organize into it. The idea is, is to get organized or whatever, because organization is key. It's the follow on to Subtlety and nuancing, subtlety and nuance really mattering, right? Am I, have I not said that once in my videos over the past uh, few months? Subtlety and nuance matter, they count. Everything that is generally written off as not important or details, brushed away as details, is actually the stuff that makes all the difference, the differentiating factors, honestly because anyone can do an implementation. Anyone can do a generic implementation, apply the generalities, the general rules. However, it takes a Linus Torvalds to make a killer implementation. It takes a Guido Van Rossum to make a killer implementation. It takes a Bram Molinier to make a killer implementation. And Linus Torvalds again, again. Linux, Python, Vim, and Git. The, the, 
the details matter and the details of the implementation matter. It's all about the small, nuanced details. And so right now for the YouTube algorithm, the small, nuanced details is being, you know, a bombastic, boorish, spewer of hyperbole. Keyword chasing, headline tweaking, algorithm coveting, coveting, you don't covet an algorithm, algorithm chasing again, can I use chasing twice, I'll use chasing twice, you know, um, YouTuber, not bitter, focus on the positive, the positive is that Google is gradually learning. And there's a very good chance, me reaching up all the time is dismissing, I should have put it on airplane mode, I'm dismiss, dismissing the notifications. And I have the camera turned the direction that the notifications come up on the same side as the camera, so. Hopefully it's blurring my fingerprints enough. General AIs, GAIs, will at some point be the arbitrators of traffic. General AIs will be the algorithm. Future of search, you heard it here first, folks. Maybe it was said somewhere else, but you know, there's across the board re rules, across the board rules that have a lot to do with how database indexes were built. If you're new to this stuff, you need to know that the database and the indexes attached to the database are kind of two different things. There is a base of data that's kind of like everything thrown into a giant vat, either really structured with rows and columns or not really structured with key value pairs, big buckets of binary large objects, big buckets of blobs. And they can be given hierarchy with associative records, more records that connect record to record. It's funny, but you know, all the different data structures can be built fairly easily from what's called a linked list. So everything's really the same. Everything is hash tables, really. Hash tables win in the end. Because no numeric system is right, because what? You're going to keep all your records sequential, so you don't want a numbering system for your primary keys or whatever. It's going to be something else. Composite primary keys built from multiple columns is okay, but adds such complexity, it's not worth it. So arbitrary keys are gonna be used against which fast lookups can be performed with hierarchical nested index techniques. It's just one, it's what the way the world works now. So what am I even saying there? I don't know. There's nothing wrong with being genuine, with being yourself, by just, you know, espousing and spewing and, you know, narrating your life, right? It's the wonder years we're doing here. What, you know, metaphors, what, not metaphors, but what parallels can I give to people narrating uh, their life as they go? Wonder years from my generation, even a little later than my generation comes to mind. Scrubs comes to mind, Scrubs. That guy who played that uh, funny, uh, surgeon in training narrated his life so so do I so do I so do I and let's get to unpacking and I'll bring you along for it I guess you want to come you're invited hairbands on a hero five stand is step one of the process, getting air, turning off car, and carefully putting the phone in stand to not stop recording. 10 minutes in, hardly even started. I'm bringing it to my house. I am packing, so it will be a little bit of a mess. Sorry in advance. just order something off of Amazon so I don't have to keep doing this. Do not hit the software stop. 
and do not hit the hardware stuff. I'm getting good at it though. Right. Yeah. Could be a cleaner transition if I had a real device made for it. And I will bring you inside. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I locked it. And where should I put you? <clears throat> I'll put you here. space give some good light and uh yeah i'll be right back There's three of the heavier and colder bags. We focused on the cold to get them in the freezer as soon as possible. Got a few more. This stuff is worth sharing because I, I put a lot of thought into it. You know, where do your resources go after your basics of uh, clothing and shelter are met, right? You can't walk around naked and you have to go to sleep somewhere. So clothing and shelter are the two main things from the Maslow pyramid of hierarchies that must be net, met before you move on to the other things. So. We got a couple other, just one more, one more per trip. last and most important trip includes the 
pineapple cheesecake. We'll put that away right, right away. It survived mostly intact. But this uh, supermarket I referred to a, a few times has their own bakery. And they're part of Food Town. That's all it says here, Super Food Town. But Magliosis or something, Magliosis and uh, pineapple cheesecake. I hope to see the child this weekend. I had gotten this in anticipation of that. We will be finishing off freely the cherry cheesecake that remains from uh, last week. And hey, you gotta have something. That was from two weeks ago, I suppose. I hope it doesn't go bad, but you know. Uh, oh. Now it's a week ago, one week ago, because it was, you know, it hasn't been two weeks since they've been here. We get the concentrated orange juice from, uh, for the uh, blended drinks, because the blended drinks, when you fill it with orange juice, doesn't need the good Tropicana good stuff. You don't need to use the good stuff on the blended drinks. So we make some room. There's the last of the last blended drink. This stuff can go out of the way. Oh, we, we have given up dairy for the most part in here. You know, we don't hold to it because cheesecake after all, but we use um, unsweet vanilla almond milk. We are liberal with our use of milk. We have one carton we're using up here and we have two more on deck now. I don't want to bury the uh, non-dairy yogurt that should be in play. So yeah, we really, allow ourselves to uh, to use the milk freely because it's not cow, it's not mammalian excretions, right? And you can feel a lot better about it. It's really no different than coffee, right? Bean juice, technically it's nut juice as opposed to bean juice, but same concept, it's guilt-free. Rice cakes, I'm putting away the rice cakes. Two different kinds of rice cakes. I got plain rice cakes and I got everything rice cakes. The same way there's everything bagels, there are everything rice cakes. So, so poppy seeds and stuff, just go, don't get tested for drugs after the poppy seeds. Speaking of everything, everything bagels. The Thomases are great. There's locally sourced bakery stuff. It is a bakery after all, but honestly, the Thomases are best. It's ant season, gotta kill some ants. It is the Catskill, I mean, it is the Poconos after all. Now some fresh fruits to get put away. Again, in hope of seeing the kid this weekend, we've got their favorite, the raspberries, and we've got strawberries and blueberries. Also good for the blended drinks. So there's always going to be a place to, uh, to to cheap out on groceries, right? There's always going to be places to do your savings. It is not on fresh fruit. Fresh fruit is uncompromising. Here's some the remainder of our cherries from last time. I'm going to have to resist showing you all the good stuff from before 